Hey guys, this is Dabson Ishmael and in today's tutorial, let's take a look at how to create something like this using WYSIWYG Web Builder. So this is basically two images with one on top of the other using a card. So if you preview this, you realize that this is just two images which is combined as one object using cards. Now you might want to do something like this because in layouts grade, you don't have the flexibility of placing images on top of the other. So then this becomes a very useful way to go about something like this. So Let's take a look at what is basically happening in here. Once you double click on this and then you come to this image, you realize that this image has um, overlay turned on, so it's no longer in line. That is the first image. And then after that, you come to the margin section, you realize that we have margin to the top, which is allowing some spacing. So if you take a very good look at this, the first image here is what is behind here. So this is the spacing um, at the top, which is 100. And then we have space into the right, which is 120. So that is, um, let me just click on OK. So that is the spacing we've allowed in here, which is what we see over here for 120. And that's just about it. And then the next image here is maintaining the inline, which is what is, um, we have at the top here. Because once you turn on inline, um, sorry, overlay for this image, automatically this one comes to fall on top of it. So we just want to create spacing to allow it um, have some kind of um, you know spacing in here as well as here. So once you come to the margin section for this image, realize that we have margin to the left, which is what we see over here, 120. Uh, and that's just about it. So let me just go ahead and then duplicate this using um, a new card object here. So let me draw here and then let me get rid of everything. And then let me bring those same images. So um, image and then I'll browse to select this image and then click on OK another image and then select the next image over here. Now I'm using the images. Images are of the same size. This is to help you create something even. So um, come back to this first image over here. So margin instead. We are set to margin to the top and then to the right. So this is 100 and maybe this is 120. And then of course we have to turn on overlay for this image and then come here maintain inline come to margin and then this time around we are set a margin to the left hand side which is probably 120 that's fine so as you can see we have two images over in here now if i want to maintain or achieve something like what i have in here i have to expand this a little bit or probably if i want something like this i can collapse that and then you can put more images in there so that is basically how to achieve something like this. And of course, you can add borders to these images. So if I come to this image, for instance, I can set a border with maybe this color. The size is going to be four and of course, solid or any um, kind of border you want to set. And then when I click on OK, realize we have our border for this particular card too. So like I said, this becomes very useful if you are using layout grid. So let me just show you that. So you realize we have layout grid here. Once I position this in it, you realize it's showing us two uh, different images with one place on top of the other. Under normal circumstance, if you are using the image to, um, you won't be able to achieve something like this if you are using layout grid, but you can achieve something like this if you are using you know, um, layers, but that's the sad part using layout grid. So there's a way you can go about achieving something similar to this using WYSIWYG Web Builder. So in case you are new, kindly subscribe to this channel and then don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime there's a new video, you get to see it. That's Nishmel here. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.